If you've ever heard someone mention that cardioid in a multi-pattern mic sounds different than cardioid on a single-pattern cardioid-only mic, well, it's true. Let me explain why. You're listening to The Dangerous Mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. No excuses, no BS, no pants. Welcome back to the Microphone Playboy. So you're listening to me today through the Loudon Atlantis, going through the Elysia Sculptor and the SPL DS500 Series DSer, which I just received and I'm checking out this week. And I'm just getting it, I'm starting to get it really dialed in. Really liking it a lot because I have an egregiously sibling voice. So let's get down and dirty with the cardioid conundrum. Now, you think that cardioid is cardioid, but if you compare a single pattern cardioid mic to a multi pattern mic set to cardioid, you'll hear subtle but real differences. And today we're going to break down why that happens. Now, first, let's define cardioid. It's a directional pattern designed to pick up sound from the front of the mic while rejecting noise from the sides and the rear, right? The goal here is a clean, focused sound with minimal room tone. Now, in a dedicated cardioid mic, right, like the TLM-103, this pattern is achieved using just this diaphragm with its acoustic labyrinth of uh, holes and chambers in the back plate. And these elements work together to shape the mic's polar pattern in a way that's optimized purely for cardioid. But in a multi-pattern mic, like the U87, which does not sound anything like the TLM-103, right? With the 87, or let's just say the C414, right? Cardioid is created differently. These mics use two diaphragms, one facing forward and one facing backward. The mic blends these electrical signals from both diaphragms to achieve different patterns, including cardioid, omni, and figure eight, and all points in between. So here's where things get interesting. In a fixed cardioid mic, there's no second diaphragm to influence the sound. So what you get is a pure single source pickup with a very defined off-axis rejection and a focused center image. But in a multi-pattern mic, even when set to cardioid, the rear diaphragm is still active to some degree, right? It has some stray voltage on it. It's not fully off. And this is necessary so that the mic can switch to omni or figure eight mode when needed. That rear diaphragm is often floating at a partial charge, which can subtly affect how it responds to sound. This can lead to slight phase interactions or a different transient response compared to a true single diaphragm cardioid mic where there's no second membrane influencing the sound. And it also gives the mic a slightly different off-axis response. And where you're most likely to hear all of this effect is in the low end, which may sound a little bit more scooped in a multi-pattern mic. And you may see some mics advertise, some multi-pattern mics advertise that they're capable of true cardioid, which means they've added extra circuitry to block the voltage from the rear membrane which, uh, you know, is something that should be pretty easy to do. But, you know, you got to remember that most of the mics we covet, like the 87, these are all, this is all old technology. The circuitry inside there is not like, you know, space, space age electronics. So if anything, you can categorize the difference in cardioid sound in a multi-pattern mic as just a byproduct of the way it was designed. So to some ears, the true cardioid sound uh, may just feel a little bit more focused. And that multi-pattern cardioid sound may feel a little bit more dimensional because it's giving you a little bit more uh, sense of the space in which you're recording. So I guess the question comes down to, you know, which, which is better? Well, the truth is neither option is better. It just depends on what you need. And, you know, which one you prefer. Uh, so, you know, if cardioid is your only concern, a single pattern mic, might just sound a little bit more natural. It might just sound a little bit more focused in that low-end area. But if you love the sound of a U87 or a similar multi-pattern mic, right, that difference is part of its sonic identity. And that might be what you're looking for. And overall, that, that tiny slight difference might not matter at all. But we're talking some really geeky, deep down the rabbit hole microphone stuff here. And yes, there is a difference between the two. So the, the long and short of it is, I could have just made this a 30-second long podcast and said the difference is stray voltage on the backplate. 
It's really that simple. But it's not that simple. It's a little bit more complex when it comes down to what is the sound that you want to achieve. Ultimately, understanding how the microphone works helps you make the best choice for your recordings. And that's what we're all about here on the Microphone Playboy. So let me know what you're thinking. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh yeah, you know, tell me. Do you prefer single pattern cardioid or multi pattern cardioid? Inquiring minds want to know. All right, until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, fading to black. <laughs>